I think that birthright citizenship does not and should not apply to the kids of parents who entered this country illegally. Did your father also take the citizenship test and is your father a citizen? He did not and that's a choice that he has made for familial reasons, but my mother did. And I think that every immigrant who comes to this country in order to become a full voting citizen has to do the same. And I believe in being consistent about my policies where- So your father is not a citizen of the United States? He's not. Okay. And your mother, when did your mom take the citizenship test? Was it before or after you were born? After I was born. So in other words, you got birthright citizenship <laughs> and you want that to be revoked. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. That is a former Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. And now we're learning that Donald Trump wants to put him in his potential future cabinet. Yes, uh, along with some others that we're gonna go through. Um, but it's very important what role he might have. And that is, as the Chiron below me says, Homeland Security Secretary. In other words, having jurisdiction over immigration. Um, the Office of Secretary oversees uh, the work, um, obviously not only to protect the United States, um, it is also a new office, I mean new as in the last 20 years, it came up after 9-11, very much like an anti-terror response, something that personally I think should be disbanded, but hey, uh, who's asking? But some Trump allies, speaking anonymously, uh, said that Ramaswamy would be perfect for the role because he has good public speaking skills, sure. Sure, Jan, and is the son of Indian immigrants, which they believe could be a buffer, could buffer the administration against criticism of Trump's planned draconian immigration restrictions, which we will obviously get into later. Um, Ramaswamy, in addition to what he just laid out and his utter hypocrisy around migration to this country, um, his, the hopeful had some horrific plans himself for immigration law, um, including using the military as law enforcement. He promised to deport all dreamers, of whom there are about 700,000, and, and forced them to reapply for citizenship. Ramaswamy also had some objectively terrible ideas for foreign policy. He said if he were elected, he would let China invade Taiwan. He would let Russia keep parts of Ukraine, on and on and on and on. Um, and we know that Donald Trump wants mass roundups. Like that is the plan, is mass roundups. You think of what we're seeing in Texas, what we're seeing repeated in Iowa, what we're seeing, um, it, we'll talk about Florida in a little bit. And it's it's actually what Vivek also wants to do because Vivek is a steward of white supremacy. I'm just gonna put it like that. He is a brown face who's like, hey, I'm not like the other browns. My job is to police and deport the other Browns. Yay, pick me. Um, he is the most model minority pick me we could possibly imagine. Sharon, I am like, I don't even know if it's going to happen. I, number one, I don't know if Donald Trump's gonna win, of course, but even if he does, you think he's gonna make good on these promises? But it's just like putting a guy like Vivek and this guy, I mean, he's got megalomaniac written all over him. And if given jurisdiction over something like department DHS, like I just cannot imagine. First of all, you're right about Vivek. Um, I don't know how he can come to the, the family cookout ever again. <laughs> I don't know how he can jump on a call with or a Zoom or a FaceTime with his father. It's a sickness and pick me, we'll look it up in the dictionary. His picture's there smiling with the veneers. Um, about Trump, though, will he do it if, God forbid, he's elected again? Uh, sure, and I'm gonna tell you why. It has nothing to do with policy or keeping promises. He's like most narcissists. Winning would not be enough. Inflicting pain, watching as you know a cat attacks a mouse, release it, catch mm -hmm. it again. It's in pain, it's in agony, it's squealing all over the place. But <laughs> the game must continue. That is what narcissists do, malignant narcissists, even worse, coercive control, just because I can. So do I think that Trump and some of his pick me cronies would actually try this? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and there are just the the run of the mill. Obviously, Stephen Miller is going to be back in the cabinet, and anyone else who doesn't actually become Veep, 
Elise Stefanik, JD Vance, Christy Nome, Steve Bannon, of course, him and uh, every single one of his liver spots will have a different um, role That's in the cabinet. Of course, they are sentient now. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.